Hello YouTube. Today is about ratchet wrenches. SK is in the house. These are the X-Frame ratchet wrenches made by SK. Seven piece set. SAE. Here's the box it came in. Made in USA. Seven piece fractional set includes three eighths. 7 sixteenths, half inch, 9 sixteenths, 5 eighths, 11 sixteenths, and last but not least, 3 quarter. The model number, or item number is 80049. Just got me our day, guys. Come in a nice plastic tray. Uh, will I use it? Probably not, because I, I think it takes up too much room in a, in a, on a toolbox. Seven piece set. And I, I got to read you this because I thought this is interesting. They got important disclaimer to our valued, to our valued and currently undergoing major, undergoing major transition and reconfiguration period. Therefore, product images on packages may not be an exact representation of actual product. Product manufacturer locations may vary, and some products and components may be sourced globally. Imagine that. If you have any questions or issues with your product, please contact our customer service. I got that in there. Hmm, interesting. Here's the first thing I noticed before I get into meat and potatoes. You got seven wrenches there, five say made in USA, and two don't. Imagine that. And it, is that why they got that in there? The 916th, no USA marking. I wasn't happy to see that, you know. The 716th, no USA marking. The other five do. I wasn't happy to see that, guys. What do you got? I got different stock here. Some, some's from overseas and some's from here. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think about that. I wasn't happy to see that. But getting off of that, I got the three quarters here. The chrome is very, very nice. High polish. Very nice, guys. It's a six point box. It's 216 positions. I think there's 72 teeth, but it's got six paws. So it's got 216 positions. I'll put it up next to it. They're, they're kind of, they're, they're long wrenches because I'm going to put it up next to a, another USA wrench, the uh, Blackhawk. And you can see it's about over an inch bigger, longer. And the other thing is the beams. The beams are really, really thick, guys. This is a heavy little wrench. And I'm going to show you how much thicker in a minute here. I, oh, I got a digital. Uh, I, finally, I finally broke down about a digital uh, caliper here. See if I can get this in here. I got, it on, I got it on millimeters. So we're going to see how, how thick this is. 5.78. That's the uh, Black Hawk. Now let's put it on the uh, SK here. How thick is the SK? If I can get at this a good way here. The SK is, if you can see it, 7 point, 7 point 3. 7 point 3. Back to the uh, the Black Hawk. Black Hawk is 5.9, so the SK is two almost two millimeters fatter. When I put the two up side to side, you can kind of see that the beam is really heavy duty. These guys, real thick. I like the I like the X frame. I like the the, the style of that. That's pretty cool. Um, what I don't like about them, there's no offset in the end. I like I like offsets, but maybe they couldn't do it because of the, the, the design. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Because in here, how they make, how there's a hole here, that's what I'm thinking. And there's no reverse lever. I like reverse lever, but then again, maybe they couldn't do it because it's got six paws in here. There's six rotating paws, so maybe that's why I couldn't put a reverse lever in there. That's what I'm thinking. <coughs> but with a 216 positions. It's definitely, uh, with a 1.7 degree 
arc swing, it's definitely going to help you. Now, as far as the fastener goes, on the open end part, they got the uh, they got steps in them. See it? So I can't put a caliper in there. You're going to have four different. You're going to have three different uh, measurements. You know, see the steps? That should dig into the fastener. Uh, I don't know. I haven't used them yet. If that's going to help a lot, or if I even like that feature. But it seems like its uh, tolerances aren't too bad. Um, I don't know yet as far as this. I don't know. It's probably a good thing to have. Most of my wrenches don't have that. Only time will tell if I even like that feature. Now let's get into the business end here. Like I said, it's a six-point box. Boy, this is pretty robust, guys. We're going to put a fastener in here. It's got 216 positions that's uh, that's the highest in the, in the industry guys let's put it let's put a faster in here this is the three quarters I don't know if you can even hear that I'm actually moving at three clicks it's so it's so uh, sensitive that's three clicks Wow I'm moving it I'm gonna try to move the wrench to like, wow, that's a click. That's a click. That's a click. Click. Two clicks. Click. Back drag is really, really sensitive. There's hardly any any back drag. It's just, you just, I'm just touching it, guys, and it click, click. Wow. Very sen, very sensitive. There's so many positions. You just, you just barely move it. That's that's three that's three positions. Wow, I never saw anything like these. That's like four clicks, and I'm just barely moving this. Two clicks. That's like three or four clicks, guys. Watch. It's hard to get this to do one click. It's so sensitive. Crazy. So that's definitely something I never saw before or felt. Very interesting. Are they going to hold up? Are they strong? I would think six ball design would be strong, but who knows? The only time's going to tell on that. Let's do. Let's look at the nine sixteenths. Very very common size too as well. You know, it's got the step like I said. Nice high polish. Feels good in the hand. Well balanced, heavy little wrenches, very heavy. Six point box. I think six point box. I always liked when having all those positions. I think that's going to be a plus. Look at that's one. I'm having a hard time clicking it once. It's so sensitive. That's five clicks. Wow. Let's reverse it. Very sensitive. I mean, when you put it up, like when you hear a 72 tooth, <laughs> night, night and day, hey? Wow. That's crazy. I'm going to be using these and see how they perform. I can't wait to use them. I said, it's just, I just got these, so look at that. Can you hear it? Wow. I am impressed by the uh, positions, I can tell you that part. But uh, like I said, I wasn't happy about seeing two of them with no USA markings and uh, no offset or reverse lever, but I think with this design, they couldn't do that. That's what I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. Leave a comment below, guys. Tell me what you think. This is a nice little set. I am glad I picked them up. Very interesting. 216 positions. That's crazy. Crazy, crazy. Um, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you, I got a cool video coming tomorrow. <laughs> You're going to be laughing at tomorrow's video. But stay tuned. and if, uh, Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. These are uh, definitely uh, different. Very unique. That 216 positions is, wow, very, very sensitive to engage your next tooth. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, stay tuned for more goodies, and uh, 
Take care, guys.